Hello one and all and a very warm welcome. Here we are at Canberra Secondary. This is Sports Singapore's coverage of the 2021 edition of the National School Games. We are, the th in, we are in the thick of it all right now as we are set for an entertaining afternoon of some badminton. It's the final of the North Zone B Division Girls Championship. Uh, CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls Secondary School face off with the Singapore Chinese Girls School. This is indeed a mouth-watering clash, especially with the history these two have in this competition so far. And here to cast her expert gaze, I'm joined by Singapore national badminton player Tan Weihan, who of course is a multiple SEA Games medalist. Weihan, welcome. Hi, good afternoon, Abhishek. Uh, it's good to be here this afternoon. Looking forward to an exciting lineup of matches. Exciting is the word uh, that we use to describe, of course, because as you know, C CHIJ St. Nicholas and SEGS have gone head to head in this competition so far. And uh, in the last, that was in the quarterfinals actually, SEGS coming out on top 4 1. The quarterfinals, of course, a round robin format. So St. Nick's will be looking to redeem themselves here in this final. A bit about the format of today's fixture. There will be five matches played. Three singles and two doubles. The winner will be crowned the champion of the North Zone for the B Division, which is of course played by girls aged 15 to 17 who are in upper secondary and to promote the spirit of fair play as well all five matches will be played regardless if one team races races to a uh, three love lead so this gives everyone a chance to participate and a chance for everyone to show what they got Mihan, you've been in finals before what is the mindset of the players as they enter such an important fixture i guess um the ideal mindset to have in such an important game in the finals is to really just give your best and fight all out because you're not only um playing for yourself but you're also playing for your team your teammates yeah so especially important for the first singles i feel because um, the start of the first game is very important as it sets the tempo for the rest of the teammates. Yeah. You mentioned the first singles there. Yes, and we have uh, Win Ong from CHIJ St. Nicholas and Chloe Liu for SEGS, who I've been told is in the National Intermediary Squad for Singapore. Does that say, speak much of her ability, Rehan? Uh, yes, because the National Intermediate Squad is the youth team in the Singapore Badminton team. Yeah, so they, the players range from players 13 to 14 to around 17, 18. Yeah, so they are the up and coming young players. And if Chloe, Li Chloe Liu from SEGS is in the NIS team, um, I'm looking forward to some good action from her. So Clue will you well there will be some expectation of her to get things off to a good start for SEGS who of course have been very very strong in the competition this year SEGS have just lost one matchup so far in their road to Ladies the final Ladies and gentlemen on my right CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls represented by Win Ong on my left, Singapore Chinese girl, represented by Chloe. We deserve level play. As the umpire gets things underway. Now that first shot went just right. First point love. goes to San Nicholas. We know from San Nicholas playing closer to your screen in the black top. Wow, Louis Liu is in the blue in the fur further court. That's a mistake at the net right there. Maybe some nerves Let going on. 
one. Nerves indeed, because the hall is actually very quiet right now. Oh. <laughs> and you could cut the tension with a knife here. Yeah. But it's over, two more. Because there's no uh, members of the public and no spectators allowed to be in the hall. So the only people that are allowed inside the hall are probably only the teammates, the players, coaches, Three, and the crew, and us as commentators. Yeah. Of course, the fact that there are no spectators comes down to the safety measures put in place so that we can get sport back into our lives during these troubled times. That is over. Three all. So far, nothing much to separate the two. Have been seeing a couple of errors, unforced errors, Four, three. from Chloe Liu. Do you think it's down to the occasion of the final and nerves, early nerves as well? Yeah, and probably some expectations on her. Maybe she's feeling some pressure from it. The score's really tight right now at 4 all. At that age, how do you deal with pressure, Ryan? Mm, I guess you just have to uh, be strong mentally. Because there's no choice, you just have to do it because... Yeah, if you succumb to it, then very likely you will lose the game. Yeah, or you will put up a poor fight. But it's easier said than done, of course. Six, four. The smash went out from Win Hong. Seven, four. Wow, that went really wide. Eight, four. You mentioned earlier that there's no spectators allowed. Do you think that would have changed perhaps how the players perform? Nine, four. I guess actually with spectators around, there might be additional pressure. Yeah, because there are more people watching. So currently, there's just their own teammates. I think. Ten. That pressure is much less as compared to if there, there were more people watching. Wow, nice deception right there from her backhand. 11 4 interval. So SEGS racing to a 11 4 lead here as the players take a break at the halfway point of the first game. Of course, it's a race to 21, best of three game matchup. We see Sir Nick's coach, Jin Xiao Pai, with a few words of encouragement and wisdom as well to Win Ong, who's had trouble early on with some errors she's made. Meanwhile, her counterpart Chloe is raring to go already. We've seen some um, errors from Chloe Liu in the beginning of the set. Play. But um, as she gets warm up, probably get more warmed up, she's starting to become more um, patient with her shots. 12, 4. I think that's the thing which. Uh, Many of us wouldn't really appreciate patience in play because obviously you want to go for the killer shot, you want to kill off the, the game, but it's, it's so over. important to pick your moments, Five. isn't it? Yes, yeah. definitely. Oh, that was a good drop shot. A little bit of anticipation right there from the overhead back Six. overhead shot. 12. Another error from Tori Liu. Probably a little bit too impatient once again. And that means Win Ong is slowly but steadily creeping her way back into this. Nice net shot. 
good skills. Service over 13 8. Ah, great shot from that was a cross forehand drop shot. 14, 8. She took it really late but managed to get it over. We've seen her try that before in this competition, Chloe. And she's shown great technique so far. Yes. It's just a matter of eight. composing herself, getting into the rhythm of things. Yeah, absolutely. Race to the 16 8 lead and on serve now. Nice smash. Good attacking work right there. 17 8. Chloe Liu from SEGS currently having a really comfortable 10 point lead. Just 3 points away to taking the first set. Ah, nice net shot. A little bit of deception again. 19 8. Chloe so slowly growing into this matchup here. Yeah. Mistakes like those that she probably wants to avoid. Nine, nineteen. Ah, service error from Win Ong. Saint Nicholas goes score. Twenty game point nine. Twenty game point yeah. Four SCGS. It's out. One game point saved. <laughs> Over 10 20. 11 more to go then. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not going to happen yet as uh, Chloe Liu picks up the first game, the first game for 21, SCGS here. 10. As the swap courts in preparation for the second SCGS with momentum on their side, needing one more game to clinch the first singles and get up on the scoreboard in a shot we see SCGS head coach Mrs Irene Wong having a few words with Chloe who has shown moments of brilliance so far yeah Chloe Liu put up a really good show taking the first set 21 to 9. Let's see if that opening victory has calmed the nerves a little bit. Maybe she gets into a rhythm, grows a bit more comfortable. In the screens, you can see the other court is the third, fourth placing as well. Ready. Happening concurrently between Bo in secondary second and Sin in secondary. Level play. As Chloe gets the second game underway. Ah, missed the shuttle. Is it me or is Chloe just got a bit more of a spring in her step? One love. Yeah, I noticed the that Chloe Liu's footwork is a little, a little bit more fluid. Compared to her opponents, I think um, more frequent training as she's in a national intermediate squad has contributed to love. part of that. Mm. 
nice push at the backhand. Three love. So we now going three love up. Footwork and once again, that was unsure. Forcing our opponent win to make that mistake. Nice backhand placement at the front of the court. Out again. Six, love. Good shot, taking that shot at the net really high and early. Seven, love. So will you really flexing the muscles here? <laughs> She looks really comfortable doing it actually. Very, very comfortable. You mentioned the footwork. The way she's gotten around the court so quickly, especially after she takes hey. the shots. Yeah. The way she resets her positions as well. Very impressive so far. That's in. Yeah. Good call by the line shot. Then it's over. One, eight. Landed in again. Over. Another best Two, judgment nine. by Chloe. Giving some extra point there. Service error. This time she gets oh. it right though. Win all. Huh? This time she gets a judgment Ten. right. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe with a comfortable 11-2 lead here in game two of the opening singles matchup. This of course for the North Zone B Division title. SEGS getting things off to a great start so far. What do you think uh, the message will be to Win Ong at this point for IJ? Mm, Win Ong's definitely in the losing end right now, but um, I hope that she will be able to keep her fighting spirit and not just Eleven, give up the game so easily. Three. Yeah, the ball is round, it's, uh, courts, the ball is in anyone's court. Anything can happen at this moment actually. Shot by Win Ong. That is over. Three, twelve. Uh, nice backhand. Nice forehand punch to the over. Lock. Thirteen, three. Yeah, so comfortable, Chloe. Yep. Yeah. Flick of the wrist right there at the front court. 14 3. That is over. 4 
reporting. Ah, good drop shot. Really speed. That is over. Nice placement. 15, 4. Very comfortable Four. in the lead right now, and it looks like it's her game to lose. Yeah. Another yeah. mistake from the back court. Win Ong Eighteen. from San Nicolas goes. Four. Really needs to cut down on her unforced errors. She's throwing the points away too easily. One of these errors, as you mentioned, behind. Yep. Now handling SCGS a 19 4 lead. That mistake sets it up for match point here. Oh. And. Uh, there was a little bit of confusion with the line umpires there, but they've given it as out, and that means. Match won by Singapore Chinese girls. 21 10, 21 4. Uh, you heard it from the umpire. SCGS clinching that first singles matchup very, very comfortably to love. Thanks to a very dominant performance from Chloe Liu. Don't forget that you can. Catch up with all the scores and the live stream schedules at geo.gov.sg forward slash NSG. This is of course the 2021 edition of the National School Games. As we prepare for the first doubles matchup in this North Zone B Division Girls Championship Final between CHIJ St. Nicholas and Singapore Chinese Girls School.
Let's get ready. And we are back here at Canberra Secondary School for matchup two in the North Zone B Division Girls Championship final. This final, of course, between CHRG St. Nicholas and Singapore Chinese Girls School. This will be the first doubles of the day. Ladies it's and gentlemen, on my right, Su CHIJ Sir Nicholas, Alicia represented by Zhixuan and Alicia. So Nix and on my left, Audrey and Michelle. Chinese girls, for represented SGS. by Audrey and Michelle. Su Xuan to serve to Audrey. Level play. So we get the doubles matchup underway. First point of the second game goes to San Nicolas Girls. One love. Service over. One all. That's a good rally. A very good rally, actually. Yeah. Point to SGS. Two, one. A fast and furious opening so far. Mm. That, should, that shot looked like it had went wide, but she took it. Three, one. Good defensive placement. Five, one. Okay. Yes, he has five, one up. Six, with one. Sorry, the six, one up. Michelle on serve there. And it's oh, good work. Yeah. Well worked Seven, at the front court. One. Really aggressive play. Ah, simple service error. Service over. commentator there, Michelle, with a great Two, smash, but Seven. poor serve after that. Two seven now. Up. Service over. Eight. Two. of the opening doubles matchup but service over three ten there have been some mistakes service over eleven three in the ball oh, which I suggest with the lead right now eleven three midway through this opening game of the first doubles matchup. On your screen there, now we see the SEGS duo of Michelle and Audrey. That was a really strong opening game from the SEGS girls. In the shot now we see the Senix duo of Sichuan and Alicia as well.
Post three yet twenty seconds. Their feet so Post far. Three twenty seconds. Match up. Michelle, sir. As we await the serve from Michelle Low of SGS. Ready? 11, 3, play. So it's over. 4, 11. The rallies that we're seeing here are really short. The points won are much quicker as compared to the previous singles match. Good tap in the front. What do you think, uh, Sir Judge? You need to change in terms of the gameplay so far to try and force a comeback of sorts. I think the San Nicolas girls need to put up a more aggressive Five, strategy 13. because they've been really defensive and that is losing them the points. When, when you mention a defensive or attacking strategy, what does that exactly mean? Like how, to a layman, how would you describe an attacking strategy or a defensive strategy? An attacking strategy would be, uh, to put it simply, um, both the players, uh, they are in a front and back position. That is the attacking strategy because the player at the back will be the one doing the smashes, the drop shots, orchestrating the attack. Whereas the def in a defensive position, uh, players are mostly side by side. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing quite um, often Six. right now. Sixteen. Oh, that was a high surf. Easily brought down by Audrey from SCGS. Ah, good cross net in the front by Audrey. 20 game point 8. Audrey looking very good. The front court there as we arrived. Game point. Ah. But a little mistake from Audrey. Over. Means that Nine, we will have to 20. wait a little bit longer. To take the first set. Taking that first game very, very comfortably. 21. First game won by Singapore nine. Chinese girls. 21 9. The duo of Michelle Lowe and Audrey Chair done very, very well. As you mentioned, they have been aggressive, they have worked well as a team. What have you liked about their play so far? Mm, I like how the SCGS goes, they are really consistent in their play and the their placement of the shots as well is really clever because um, even even though when they are in the defensive um, position they counter attack to move into the front really quickly because uh, the attack from the St. Nicholas girls is not that strong yeah so that's a good rotation strategy 
Ja. We're waiting for game two and the SCGS builds are already on court. Meanwhile, some intense looking coaching going on. The, the IJ side, the Sendix, of course, their coach. Court 3, 20 Jin seconds. Court 3, 20 seconds. Making, most, making the most of all the time he has with both Sichuan and Alicia. Michelle Second game for SGS. Double play. This is underway. Service over. One love. Good attacking from Senecas. Wonder if their Two. coach. Love. Give them any tips about changing their strategy or gameplay during the interval. Ah, oh, that was another high surf again. Turn it over. One, two. It's so important to get these serves right. Yeah, absolutely. The service is most crucial in both singles and doubles because that's the first shot, the first two opening shot. All. If your service um, has an error, you immediately lose a point to your opponent. Service over. Three, two. Good receiving. Service over. Three, all. Good interception in the front. Service over. By Four, Michelle. Three. Nice drop shot. Service over. Four. Four. You mentioned short placement there, and it was Audrey. We found the right spot to hit it. That went white. Service over. Five, four. Second game a lot tighter than the first one. Yeah, currently San Nicholas goes and SEGS at a five all score line. Service over. Five, four. Good counter attack from Audrey. Six, five. I noticed that the St. Nicholas girls, even though um, when they have the chance to attack, um, their smashes are not really powerful. Yeah, so it's easy for the Seven, SGS girls five. to counter attack and change their rotation and strategy uh, to attacking. Service over. Six, seven. And I'm sure that's something that SGS would have noticed from the time they first played them in this competition. It was last week actually. Mm. In the second round, SGS came up winners there. 4 1. Seven, oh. Good pressure at the front court. Service over. This match Eight, though. Seven. It's not done and dusted just yet. So Nicholas girls still in this. Mm, good interception at the front by Michelle. Nine, seven. Yeah, the shot 
going white at the back. That is over. Eight, nine. Service error right there. Service over. Ten, eight. Ah, uh, she missed it, but the shot went white. Interval. Well, San Nicolas girls has, have given themselves, have given the, a much better account of themselves in the second game, but there have still been a couple of errors which have allowed SGS to go into this break three points ahead. Momentum. Still in favor of the girls in blue, but St. Nicholas girls could prove to topple that. Uh, they've shown so far that they can seconds. compete. It's just a matter of taking the chances that they have. As you mentioned, Weihan, they've eight, not been finishing eight. off some of those shots which they should be yes and once again simple errors like this yeah 12, should eight. try to be reduced that's out again 13 8 another error 14, so important eight. to keep your cool remain focused Concentrate as well. The string of errors eight. has led to SGS building a seven point lead. Service over, 9 15. Good placement down the line. 10 15. It's over 16-10. We're seeing really short exchanges of shots here in this doubles game. Just as you say that, you see a longer rally. Yeah, well worked by St. Nicholas Girls. Service over 11-16. St. Nicholas Girls showing glimpses of what they can do. Again, that is over. service error. error. 17, Handing 11. the initiative over to SCGS. And now go 18 11 up. 18 11. 19. 11. Michelle on serve and Michelle who finishes it off as well. Family game point to SEGS goals. Match point. Pardon me. Game. And that match goes to SEGS as well. The opening doubles. The second matchup match won by of Singapore Chinese girls. This final fixture in 11. the B Division North Zone Girls Championship. SCGS doing very very well as we clinched both matches without dropping a game so far. Yeah, really impressive from SCGS. The next match, which is the second singles will be really crucial because if SCGS takes another point then the, ch the championship will go to them as you mentioned we are in a do or die clash for 
San Nicholas girls. We are waiting the second singles. And what is the third matchup of this final fixture?
players get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls, represented by Li Yan. On my left, Singapore Chinese Girls, represented by Isabel. And we are all set. CHIJ St. Nicholas to serve. Match three. Level play. In this final fixture of the G Division North Zone. One Girls love. Championship. It's CHID St. Nicholas Secondary versus Singapore Chinese Girls School. We have Lian Li, the black top four. St. Nicholas Girls. Singapore Chinese Girls represented by Isabel Ko. Over. Find One, two. A point down after the opening few rallies. With me on commentary, we have National Shuttler Tan Wei Han. She's been giving us her expert Three, opinion, opinion of what's been going on so far. Thank you, Abhishek. Um, it has been pretty straightforward two games that we have seen. SCGS taking the first two games relatively easy. Like I mentioned earlier, um, this second Let singles is really crucial Two, for CHIJ St. Nicholas because currently SCGS is in a 2-0 lead. As you mentioned, yes, this team could clinch it for SCGS, but in the spirit of Let sportsmanship and participation, Four, all five Two. matches will be played here today, including the second doubles matchup and third singles. Out. However, as you mentioned, this is the crucial tie. Yeah, but I think it's pretty good that uh, they've cho chosen to play all five matches because it gives um, every single player a fair chance to complete, over. compete. Five, three. I think especially at this age group, it is important to give everyone a taste of the action as well. Yeah, gain some competition experience. That's good as well. Six, three. That is over. Well, after a rather quiet atmosphere, yeah, for this final smash, <laughs> I think some of the teammates have found their voice. Perhaps a bit of the nerves have gone out. individual spot on so many fronts but it's so important to have a good team a good support system for you yeah and a, and a well balanced team as well I think SCGS is pretty well balanced in terms of all their players like you said they haven't lost a single match Seven, to any of six. the schools yet Yes, won all four matches in Group B. They didn't lose a single match on the group stages. Eight, six. To the top of Group B and in the quarterfinals, 
they won their three matches there. The only blip in the record came to St. Nicholas Girls. They did win 4-1, but that's the only time they dropped the match. And they beat Bowen Sack on Tuesday. 5-zip. So in a place in the finals here today. Very strong team, SCGS. They are looking very strong indeed. Isabel overcoming an early deficit to go 10 6 up now in the opening game. Miss Judgment. 11 6 in the ball. Liam Lee. So, SEGS. 11-6 up in this first game of the second singles. <laughs> SGS obviously needing to win this match to clinch the North Zone title. They came in second in 2019 of course. Last year of an obvious disruption in the games due to COVID-19. So this year, thanks to, some, thanks to the diligent work of all the authorities, we've managed to get the games going with safe measures, of course. It's really encouraging to see the National School Games back in action this year. Yeah, because last year it was um, cancelled, right, due to COVID. Yeah. 11... I think it's so important, especially for young students to get sport back into their lives. And yeah. uh, obviously, like I said, it's a wonderful move to actually get it going again. Although training during COVID-19 has been a little bit different. How has it been different for you, Rehan, as well? Um, for us uh, in the national team, uh, during the circuit breaker last year, we were not allowed to train as per normal as well. So we also had to improvise, so we had home-based training. So we still trained um, two sessions a day, every single day of the week, except for Sundays. Yeah, so to make up for um, the times that we can't train outside. That must be so strange to train at home in front of the computer. In front of a camera. Yeah, it was a really different experience and 14, pretty uh, hard to adapt to in the beginning. But uh, the circuit breaker was like a few months. Yeah, so we had no choice. We had to really work hard at home, <laughs> even. And uh, the SCGS staff 15, were telling me earlier seven. as well that their players had to train virtually as well via Zoom sessions. They yep. called it ECCA. <laughs> so there was a lot of uh, work which went on behind the scenes to get the players prepped. And you can see that that has paid off here. Yeah. yeah. Looks very comfortable against St. Nicholas Gold. Nine. Who have been Impressive in their own right so far in this competition. But I'm really impressed by uh, SEGS. Currently nine. by all the players. Well worked by uh, St. Nicholas Girls, Lian Lee. Lee. over, 10, 17. Yeah, 
They went up. 11, 17. That was a close call. It was really close to the line. The point going to be of Semnik was there. Oh wow. Good placement down the line. A great response from Isabel. Service over. 18-11. 18-11 up in this opening game. We're seeing pretty similar scenarios throughout all three games with SCGS consistently taking a really comfortable lead. Wow, oh, good attacking again by Isabel. Brilliant shot there as you mentioned behind. 19-11. Good drop shot by Lian Li. Service over. 12, 19. Still in this. Refusing to lay low and give up. There's a pretty huge responsibility on the and right now because it's up to her to keep her school in the game because if she loses this match then um, SCGS would take the championship. No pressure at all, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> she looks calm though. Despite what's at stake here. But 20. Saving game point there. There's a belt. Trying to mask a shot there. Unfortunate that they couldn't clear the net. 15, yeah. One game point saved. Six more to go. <laughs> oh, that was a lucky net shot <laughs> from Isabel Koh. Lucky or not, it did the job there. Four Chinese Singapore Chinese girls. 21-15. As they win the opening game in this third singles. That's one hand firmly on the B Division North Zone Championship. Right now, it looks like SEGS are the overwhelming favourites for this. But I just and Knicks are still in this tie, albeit against overwhelming odds. We have what do you think the coach's instructions would be right now? I can't really tell what the coach is advising his player right now, but probably to uh, keep the shots going and just run for every shot <laughs> <laughs> and as a player the mindset knowing that look your back is against the wall you know the odds are stacked against you as a player what do you tell yourself I would just tell myself to give my all um, because it's do or die yeah I would just try my best and fight for every shot Actually, we're, we're hearing some um, good support from Lian's teammates from the St. Nicholas Girls. Second game, really encouraging to see. Play. The results are important, but One it's also love. important that each participant gives the best account of themselves. Yes, definitely. And so far, you cannot fault any of these players for effort. 
as you see a great effort there from Yen. Yeah. That is over. One all. We could force the issue here. Try to send it with one two down. A mistake right there from Isabel Cole. That is over. Two all. Players are wetting their shoes. I think because the floor is quite slippery, so they need to have some water at the soles Three, of their two. shoes, yeah, to provide more traction and friction. That is over. Three all. It's been pretty tight in the second game. That was a good punch lock from Lian Lee. Lee. Over. Four, Down the four. overhead of Isabel. No player yet. First. Wow, good smash. After playing herself in the second game, but that was Lian there with Five, an impressive smash. Four. Actually, I've seen uh, yes. quite a few winners from Lian Li. Oh However, she's unfortunately she's making quite a few unforced errors as well. So she gets Five, some good points, but four. she also throws some points away pretty easily. I had the chance to speak to the St. Nicholas girls coaching staff earlier on and they mentioned that they were their worst enemies. And it's kind of proven to be true here because you've seen glimpses of, of what oh. the players can do, but at times they seem to just throw it away with errors as well. Yeah, it's quite a waste actually. Important that these players do not give up and learn from some of their shortcomings, which I'm sure they will do. That's a good job shot, another winner from Lianli. And a shot of encouragement. It's nice to see. It's always nice to see passion in sport. Yeah. Wow, good smash. From Isabel Cole. Service over. Because showing what you can do, I can do better as well. <laughs> so far, it has been a tight battle between these two. Well done. Isabel. Uh, Lian. Still fighting hard to stay in the game. Eight, six. Currently taking the lead for the first time, I think. Two point lead. You get three oh, points yeah. now. Nine, six. Out. Ten, six. We could be witnessing an impressive comeback here as Lian Li does ever so well to 
to go 11-6 up in the second game of the second singles matchup here at Canberra Secondary. That's St. Nicholas girls versus Singapore Chinese girls. In your shot there we have right now Lian Li who started off the second game so so well. She did really well as compared to the first set. Top three twenty second. Really impressive comeback. Top three twenty second. Our win in this game will force game three to decide who comes out on top of the singles matchup and possibly who comes out on top in this final as well for 11, the six, North Zone play. Championship. Leanne on serve. Wow. Currently having a six point lead. 12, 6. Good serve. Gaining yet another 13, point. 13, 6. currently now moving 14, much faster six. as compared to the first game. I'm wondering if she hasn't warmed up properly enough. Or oh, it could be nerves because this is a huge platform for these players. 15, six. As well, as you mentioned, she looks more comfortable, more confident in the movement and shot making. Yeah, nerves might be, might be the case. Another shot there from Lian Li. 16, 6. 16. Gaining more confidence, I see. Just checking the score with the umpire there. As a player, is it advisable to know the score in your head as you play? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's over 7, 16. But because uh, there's no scoreboard, yes. so they have to mentally count the scores themselves. Or hear Six. it from the umpire herself. Isabel looking to regain her focus and concentration. Which seems to have just Seven slipped over. a little Seventeen. in the Eight. second game. And that's handed Leanne the opportunity to claw her way back. It's 18 8 right now. 18 8. Pretty unexpected comeback that we're looking at. And that's why we all love sports so much. Oh because wow. it's Good shot. full of surprises there. Yeah. 19 8. Looks like we might be heading to a third set. Good smash. Well worked. 20 game point 8. The wind firmly in her sails here for Leanne. She's on game point. Stop! And she gets it. We are tied at one apiece here. Second game won by CHIJ for Nicholas Girls. Second singles matchup. This one game all. was the match that SCGS had to win to clinch the North Zone title here. But Lian Lee has thrown a span in the works, winning game two to set up a deciding third game here. Actually, this is a game that um, both teams have to win. <laughs> so yes, both teams yeah. have to win. One is to stay in the game and one is to clinch the title. Of course, massive importance for both teams as rightly pointed out by Wei Han. Some belief in the St. Nicholas camp as well.
Yes, ready. Final game. Level. Play. And we're underway in this decider here. One love. Ooh. The shuttle stayed at the top of the net that's just for a second right there. Enough. That's not something you see very often. <laughs> I tell you what, you can't see this on your screens, but Three. you can sense Love. the excitement from the St. Nicholas girls bench here. And that's because their team have gone four love up. Four love. Still at the end on the line. That is over. One, four. Rally indeed. Great intensity being Get shown by both Five, players. Two. Wow. Oh, great Next recovery. Shot. Yes. Lian Li is moving much better compared to the first set. Better retrieving of the shuttles as well. Six, two. has looked very, very impressive so far. Let's see if she's able to replicate the second game. Six. by Lian Li. There's a real sense of belief here. <laughs> On court three at Canberra second year. Nine, three. Make it nine, three now. False errors. Five, nine. And these errors, which we pointed out, seem to be the bane of the Sir Nicholas Gold team. Yeah. Turn it over. Ten, five. One point away from taking the interval for Li and Li. Oh, 
she gets that point as you mentioned behind 11-5 the Nicholas girls with the lead what an impressive show yeah by Leanne Lee who could single-handedly drag her school back into this contest Court 3, 20 seconds Court 3, 20 seconds Isabel you can see but she has perhaps lost a little bit of confidence after what ha what's happened. Yeah, after a great comeback from yeah. her opponent. She took the first set pretty easily. Yeah. I think maybe she wasn't expecting such a strong comeback. It's made for a great spectacle here. Yeah. Seven, five, play. We approach the final stretch of this deciding set here. Smash. Mm. That almost went over. Then it's over. That would be quite a spectacular yeah. shot of that I made it. Six. Twelve. Ensuring that she's not afraid to take risks here. Good attack from Isabel Cole. Seven, twelve. vision right now but SCGS coach Irene Nine, Wong 12. trying to motivate Isabel to tell her that she's still in this she has a three point deficit right now it's good to see coaches encouraging their players instead of scolding them <laughs> <laughs> Sure nobody nobody likes to be scolded by the coaches. Yeah. Have you been scolded before then? Uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow those are the moments that you'll never forget. Yeah, it affects the players a lot actually. Yeah. Having to deal with their own game on court and also uh, negative comments from the outside. It's not easy. Are there some 30. players who respond positively though? Yeah, it also builds up their yeah. mental resi resilience. So much psychology involved in sport nowadays. Yeah. Especially at the elite level. Good drop shot from Lianni. Set it over. 14, 10. Hard to call between these two players right now. So it's over. 11 14. Let's see if Lian Li is able to hold on to the lead that she has right now. So it's over. 15 11. Oh, 
overhead slice from Isabel Ko. It's a nice winner. There are the moments where Isabel has shown that she has the ability yeah, to produce some good shots. Wow, that was really sharp. Really down close to the line. Decisive 17, smash back 12. from the end to go 17 12 up. Victory is in her sight. But not for the first time, Isabel has responded in kind to show that she's still in this and you can't write her off just yet. Lock shots 18, uh, working 14. really well for her. Setting up for her attacking shot. Just putting Isabel under a bit of pressure with those lock shots, as you mentioned. Yeah. yeah, once again. She's tried that a couple of times. Yeah. And it's clever of her to repeat the same shots 19, as it, wo it worked really well for her. 1914 here. Yeah. Just two points away from taking the game. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, a that's great good retreating. Yeah. It looked Leanne had done just enough. Yeah, she took that net shot really high, but Isabel Cole managed to cross the net over. So impressive, both players. Ah, nice shot shot. Composing themselves a little. Ah, good overhead. Time slot from Isabel Cole. Isabel now slowly but steadily creeping 17, her way back. 19. Yeah, that's a really crucial part of the game right now. Crucial few points. Smash down the line. Taking match point for Lian Li. It's match point here. Match point 17. In this second singles matchup. Yeah, on serve. And she puts it away with such conviction. 
and a shot of victory. Match one by CH oh, and James. All is nice to see so much passion. 15, Ladies 21, and gentlemen, we are set up brilliantly. And 21, 17. For the fourth matchup, which is the second doubles of the day. We just saw Lian Li beat Isabel Ko 2 1 to ensure that CHIG St. Nicholas girls are still in this fixture. This, of course, the B Division North Zone final matchup. We will be back shortly ahead of match number four, which is the second doubles.
players get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, CHIJ Sir Nicholas Go, represented by Chloe and Chia Ying. On my left, Singapore Chinese Girls, represented by Yi Xuan and Angel. Yi Xuan to serve to Chia Ying. Love all, play. Just joined us. Welcome to Canberra Secondary. We are in match One number four, love. which is the second doubles fixture in this the B zone, B division, sorry, North Zone Girls Championship final between St. Nicholas oh. Girls School and Singapore Chinese Girls School. The overall score right now is 2 1 to SEGS. They win this picture, they will be crowned North Zone Two, champions. One. With me, we have Singapore national badminton player Tan Wei Han, who's enjoyed what's, what she's seen so far. Yeah, it's been good badminton, especially from BND, represented representing San Nicolas Girl School in the second singles. Saw Leanne beat Isabel Cole earlier on to give her school a chance. Some great reflexes. Chia Ying from St. Nicholas. Three, Unable to two. save the point though. A good effort right there. Long rally. Yeah! It was a very good rally indeed. And it's St. Uh, Nicholas who came out on top of that. Service error. That is over. Four, three. Oh. St. Nicholas goes. Four, three. Angel to serve. Pace here. <laughs> really good pace. Five, in this doubles three. game. Very different from what we saw in the first doubles. Point we've seen so far, both teams have to work really hard for it. Six, three. Long rallies. 
long rallies, but quality rallies as well. Yeah. Good push at the front of the net. That is over. Four, By Chloe. Six. And follow up from Chloe once again. Five, six. At this point, it's really difficult to see which team has the upper hand. Both teams' players seem pretty matched and even. Nice work. Oh. I tell you what, I'm just lost in the pace of this <laughs> this matchup here. It's a very different dynamics from the first doubles that we've watched. We've gone from a zero to a hundred <laughs> really, really quick here. Yeah. But that's what you expect from a final. Yeah, this 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 is more like it. Seven, six. Attacking again from San Nicolas Goes. She hit the frame of a racket. Just mistiming that one a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Seven, eight. Yeah, pretty quick. She's really quick. Yeah. Good defense again. Once again, yeah. Really nice work. Both Tiaying and Chloe Ten, seem to complement each other very, very well for yeah. the San Nicholas. This is like the case. Uh, and we've noticed that. Um, for the IJ girls, they are left-handed and right-handed pair, Nine, ten. which might be giving them the advantage so far. How much of a difference does that make in doubles, do you think? Uh, because usually uh, we are used to playing Nine, with two right-handers. Um, usually a left-handed and right-handed pair, they are quite special in a way because um, they both cover different ends of their forehand if they're standing side by side yeah, so sometimes 11, when you give the shot to interval. the overhead of a right-handed it's the forehand of a left-hander yeah well that seems to be the case here because St. Nicholas girls lead and this opening game 11-9 as they take a break the midway point of the first game Really, really impressive start to the second doubles matchup here at Canberra Secondary. We are, of course, witnessing the final match of the B Division North Zone Clock Girls three, Championship. 20 second. Clock three, 20 second. It's a rematch of what we saw in the second round SCGS versus St. Nicholas Girls. GS came out on top 4 1 and that account encounter seven days ago. Eleven that could change nine, today though. 
chatting is on so fly JC Nix. Good backhand net shot from Angel. SEGS. That is over. Ten eleven. Another great rally there. Yeah. Really fast Happy and flat exchanges. Day. Really good doubles. Hey. Ah, service error from service over. 11, 13. Important that they do not let such errors creep into their game here. Push down the line. That is over. Fourteen eleven. That is over. Twelve fourteen. Discussing some tactics, probably. Wow, good ball. Oh, very good work from Jia Ying. Service over. 15, 12. She's really fast. She has a pretty solid defense. Hey. It's out. Good judgment. 16, 12. Oh. Almost got that over. So it's over. 13, 16. 13, 16. 16. Score here. Chloe. Thirteen sixteen. Ah, that serve went a bit high. Service over. Seventeen thirteen. Oh, that was a good flick of the wrist by Service over. Chloe. Fourteen. 17. Four, uh, sorry, 18, 14. Good work from Santa Cruz goals. 19, 14. Away from clinching the opening mm. set here for St. Nicholas goals. Game point to St. Nicholas goals. 20 game point, 14. Game there. 
going to San Nicolas Gulch. First I tell you what, won by that was just the first Nicolas game. <laughs> yeah. what, what's been a very, very interesting doubles matchup. Yes, I think the most interesting match we've seen so far. That's not to say that the other matches weren't impressive, but this matchup here has been played at a frantic pace. Yeah. Both teams really going for it. Really so good speed and tempo. I'm a bit tired watching them actually because <laughs> they've been playing with really good intensity. As it should be for a final match. This of course for the North Zone title. Girls Championship in the B Division. SCGS lead 2-1 overall. They need one more victory to clinch the title. But St. Nicholas girls showing that they are still in it. And they intend to have a say on where the title goes. The duo from CHIG St. Nicholas, Chloe and Tia Ying doing ever so well. Players ready. But take no credit away from SEGS the duo of Hazel Yip and Play. Angel Tai. Game number two underway. That is over. Attack by Hazel Whip moving forward to the front, giving some pressure Two, to the three. opponents. Two, three, yeah. impressive aspect of uh, this duo team from CHIG St. Nicholas for you, yeah. mm, I really like uh, the IJ girls, their rotation yeah, and they have a pretty good attack and defense as well so they're quite all-rounded for doubles I especially, I especially like what I see from Jia Ying the IJ girl. She has pretty good choice of shots and placement as well. Another mistake from SGS goals. Angel Tan. Point seems to be getting away faster in this second set. Just not so much rallies. <laughs> it is not so much because I think so far there have been quite a few errors yeah. which we didn't see in the opening game. Yeah. Another error. Five, 
Also, by dying. That is over. Nine, five. Ten, five. It's out again. Eleven, five in the boat. Nicholas goes with the advantage here, 11 5 in game two. They obviously lead one love overall in this second double, second doubles. Sorry, a win here would set up the final singles match to be the decider and who takes the North Zone title here. This wasn't what we were expecting because SCGS uh, came up really strong in the first two games, taking a really straightforward 2-0 lead. Yeah, but the following two matches from St. Nicholas Girls School were really impressive. Really good comeback for, from the girls. It has been really good for all the participants, in fact, who've shown great determination, along with great talent as well. Yeah. 11, 5, play. Wow, good placement once again from Tia Ying. 12, 5. Five. on serve for mix. Wow, good attacking from the IJ girls. Really aggressive. Fourteen five. Really putting SCGS on the back foot there. Fifteen five. It's a ten point lead right five. there. Game running away a little from SCGS. But we've Six. seen some incredible 15. comebacks so far. And it highly looks like we might be heading to a decider in the overall tie. That is over. 16, 6. That would be the ideal case for the neutral supporters here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the best of five here for the final. Service over. 7, 16. Down at the end of the court. Good placement once again by Jia Ying. Shot. That's a good rally we've seen, we've seen in a while. We have seen some incredible rallies, especially in this doubles match so far. We've put on quite a show here. Good shot. Um. Seven. Nine, seven. goes. Nineteen seven. 
in favor of the girls in black. There was a short serve. Let it over. Caught out by the umpire. And as this match goes on, the final singles players are warming up as well with a keen eye on what's happening on court. This go rally, ooh. Good shot by Hazel. at the front. Oh. oh, unfortunate way to lose this matchup. Nonetheless, credit to both sides for putting on quite the show here as St. Nicholas goes redeem themselves to match up to love. And that means we are set for a blockbuster finish here at Canberra Secondary. It is the final singles matchup. As uh, Alyssa Ong from CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls will take on Satya Samshit. Samita, sorry. Satya Samita from SCGS. Both players with the expectations. Of both schools on their shoulders, yeah. It's winner takes all in this final match in the B Division North Zone Girls Championship final, and that's coming up very shortly.
Players get ready. Satya. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, CHIJ, St. Nicholas Girls, represented by Alisa. On my left, Singapore Chinese Girls, represented by Sakya. Singapore Chinese Girls, sir. Level, play. And all eyes are on court three here at Canberra Secondary. This is the finals matchup. It's over. One. Love. In the B Division North Zone Girls Championship, it's Alyssa Ong of CHID St. Nicholas Girls up against Satya Samita from Singapore Chinese Girls. Over. One, oh. This is the decider after both teams found themselves level at two apiece. Was uh, Sen uh, it was SCG, sorry, the race to a two love lead overall before St. Nicholas girls clawed their way back into this fixture. It was a really impressive Sen comeback Sen from two. the St. Nicholas oh. girls. Yeah. It was impressive indeed, especially in the manner which they pulled themselves back level and in the reckoning. To win the North Zone here. Three, two. In. Another left handed player from oh, San Nicolas Girls. Benefits of having a doubles team of both a left handed and right handed player. How does it change the singles game when you're facing an opponent with the opposite hand of you? For singles, it won't make that much of a difference because um, you're covering the whole court by your own still. But Alyssa Ong, the left handed, she looks like she has a pretty good over. stroke. Yeah. Good smash down the line by Satya. Service error, simple service error. Service over, six, four. Extreme right of your pictures, Simon Secondary and Bowen Secondary have finished their third for placing. Uh, Simon Secondary who came out on top in that, finished third in the zone. And we all shift our attention to the big one here on court three. Good serve. Line, four. Really deep into the baseline by Alyssa Ong. Okay, I over. Five, Trying to nine. reduce the deficit here. Five nine. And white. Six, nine. Seven, 
seven. Nice. by Satya with a okay, really punch good. lock to really well her good. opponent's overhead. Nice. Caught her off guard. Not for the first time we see both players taking a bit of time to get into the game but once they get going it is pretty impressive what they can do. Yeah, it's really good singles that we're watching here. Give it over. Ten, eight. Land the in. So Simics go into this interval in the first game. 11 8 up. See, this uh, having a word with our coach, Jin Xiao Pai. Oh, good job shot from Satya. Really sharp and close to the net. We have seen some really good shots so far. Yeah, this is really good singles. Alyssa Ong from San Nicholas seems to be holding on to her lead, not letting it slip away from her so far. Service over, then 12. Picture of concentration there, Satya. Both players look really calm and composed, even though this is. Over. Such a crucial decider. 13, we were talking 10. about this a bit earlier about how everyone seems very, very calm. <laughs> yeah, even their teammates. <laughs> yeah. Eleven. 
1911. I really like how both girls, the way they are moving on court, they are using every inch of the court to their advantage. And so far, except for the for the errors, there's been it's been hard to separate two players, despite Alyssa having a five point lead right now at the stage. Make that four. Again, as we mentioned, 14, 18. Simple and false errors. So that's been countered by some really, really impressive rallies that we've seen, both in the singles and doubles. Unable to reach that. It's 19.13 to see a try to send Nicholas goals. It's out again. It's game point to game point Alyssa Ong from CHIJ St. Nicholas. And that settles the opening game of this final fixture. First game won by CHIJ St. Nicholas. CHIJ St. Nicholas. Taking the one love lead in this best of three matchup. That means they have one hand firmly on the North Zone title. What a story it's been for St. Nicholas girls here. You know, they started the tournament unbeaten in Group A, which they topped. In the second round, they suffered the only, their only defeat of the competition to the very same opponents that they're facing today, SEGS. They beat Sinmin Secondary 4-1 on Tuesday to earn a place in this final and they've given themselves, they've given a wonderful account of themselves so far. Yeah, it's been impressive to see the girls from CH Idris and Nicholas considering how they lost 1-4 previously to SEGS but currently they're in a 2-all scoreline with CHIJ St. Nicholas currently in the lead in the decider. Player ready. Second game. Level play. As we see game number two get underway. The first point of the game going the way of SCGS. Represented by Satya Samita. It is over. One all. Good punch lock by Samita. It is over. Down the overhead of her opponent. Two, one. Smash. Really good smash, as you said, Rehan. Four one. 
passage here seem to be in the driver's seat in this one. Contrasting what happened in the opening game. And it was Alisa who led for most of that exchange. Four-point lead to SEGS. So important that SEGS started this set on the right note, and that's exactly what Satya Samita has done. Yes, absolutely. Really good work by Satya. Seven, the baseline. One. Seven one. Two SEGs right now. What a turn of events. It has been a topsy turvy match. Yeah. Across all matches, in fact. That is over. Even though two, SEGs took seven. the first two matches comfortably, Senex still gave a very good account of themselves. They turned things around and match three and match four and here we find ourselves with a nail-biting finish Just back down the line by Alyssa Ong three, seven. we have so seen some really really good smashes so far yeah from both girls actually what is the key to a good smash Rehan in your opinion um, a good smash would be to Incorporate a the flick of your wrist as well as your forearm. Yeah, that will give um, the smash a harder punch. Turn it over. Eight, three. There's nothing more satisfying to hear that the whip of the racket and the connection with the yeah the good contact. A good point. contact, yeah. Can be quite therapeutic, I'd say. Yeah, especially satisfying when you find the line as well. Yeah. Almost went over. Nine, three. Satya doing really well at the moment. Nine, three. Service over. Four, nine. Two contrasting players. Alyssa doesn't show much emotion there. And Dada and Satya, you can see what's written on her face. I'm not sure if Alyssa Ong is really that calm and composed or does she really have a good poker face to hide her nerves. No, it is hard to tell. Finally we see some emotion. Some, some show of emotion from Alyssa there. A good shot of encouragement. Also, a contrast in coaching styles across both camps. SCGS coached by Irene Wong, who's constantly showered her players with encouragement. In contrast, Chin Xiao Pai for IG Senix has been more measured in his delivery of his instructions. As we see SEGS take 11 6 lead going into the midway point of the second game. Rather poetic right now as we hear thunder rumbling outside the hall. What was a certain charm? the weather conditions and how that relates to the magnitude of the occasion. This occasion, of course, the final of the B Division North Zone Girls Championship. It's winner take all here. Hot 
CHIJ Sending for school school In the lead one love In terms of sets but They find themselves trailing 6-11 In this second game here it's Alyssa Ong versus Satya Samita of SGS. We would love to see Satya from SGS able to take this to a third set. That would be exciting. It would. It would be a grandstand finish. Yeah. To what has been a truly memorable moth zone this year. Soft drop shot from Alyssa. Seven twelve. Ah, they went white. Down to four. Oh, service error from Alyssa. Back, uh, it's back to five now after the error, uh, as pointed out eight. by Weihan. into 30. such as game at this point of the match errors can be quite painful for the players throwing away their hard earned lead 30. well the lead's been cut to just two points now Satya with a punch to her opponent's overhead and anticipating the front shot. The SGS coaching staff reiterating yeah. that it's uh, to take it line. point by point. How important is that approach to focus on each point rather than that's good advice. Looking at the bigger scheme of things. Yeah. Satya meter up 15-11 for SCGS Airs. She looks to force a deciding third here. Mm, another winner for this. Alyssa Ong. Really delicate touch, she has. Really, really tense here at Canberra Secondary. Fifteen with Alyssa, Alyssa on serve. Cynthia just taking a bit of time to compose herself. Oh, very nice overhead slice. She was anticipating that overhead punch lock. Very clever. Doing very well to mask a shot there. It's been cut to just one point. Ooh, lucky net shot. Topple over the net. 15 all. It's now 15 all. Alyssa has done ever so well to get back into this one. Yeah. To catch up from a deficit.
giving from Satya. Satya coming on top of that impressive rally there. Again, you hear it from the coaching staff, point by point. Well, there's very little to separate the two right now. 16-15 in favor of SEJS with Satya on serve. A point she shouldn't have missed. 17 It's all about the details right now. And both players take a quick water break to hydrate themselves. What's not just a physically grueling battle but a mental grueling battle as well knowing that the winner of this match will clinch 17, that north zone title a title which my co-commentator Weihan has won before yeah. <laughs> that's gone on to achieve bigger things with the Singapore national team as well service over 16, 17 a really intense decider match right here. Well, we could be in for a final deciding set. That's if Satya pulls out a winner here. Let's hope she does. Oh. That went wide. I thought it hit the line. That looked like it was in where we were seated. But the point's gone the way of SHGS. 18-16 here. It is really going down to the wire. Rally in <laughs> concluding with Alyssa winning the point. Everyone watches with bated breath here. Great movement around the court from both players. Fighting for every point. Wehan, you're still able to analyze what's going on. I've just been <laughs> mesmerized by the play here. It is pretty mesmerizing. Both players. It's currently at 18 all. 18 all. 18 all. Such an interesting turn of events. We've seen both teams give a wonderful account of themselves. Yeah, I really enjoy what I'm watching here this afternoon. 1918. 1918 to SEGS. Oh! Say what? 19 all. Oh. I've given up on trying to predict who's going to come out on top here. It's Not anyone's game right now. I know that's a cliche, but it really is anyone's game right now. So hard to separate the two players. Ooh, good spin net. Satya it's unable to make the lift. 2019, it's match point. match point. In fact, it's championship point here. Yeah. Championship point, yeah, it is. She could clinch it for her school with the single point here. Yeah. Oh. And there you go. Hey. What a great finish as St. Nicholas Girls School clinch the North Zone title. 31, 
in the B division. Alyssa Ong coming out on top in her duel with Satya Samita. Congratulations to CHIG Senex for what was an impressive comeback, Wehan. Yeah, congratulations to CHIG St. Nicholas Girls School. Really good comeback and really impressive fighting spirit from the girls. They found themselves too love down at the start of this. What a comeback we've seen. As they clinch the North Zone title in the B, Div B Division Girls Championship. Great stuff here. Credit to SCGS as well for putting on quite a show. As there's confirmation CHIJ St. Nicholas, 3 2 winners up against SCGS as they clinch the North Zone title. It's been a pleasure to have you with us. It's been a pleasure to have you, Weihan, on our coverage as well. Yeah, it's my honor to be here. It's really good badminton that we have watched this afternoon. Once again, congratulations to CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls for clinching the title. So it's congratulations to all the schools as well for their effort. Do follow all the actions from the National School Games at go.gov.sg forward slash NSG. Till next time, goodbye.